Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O. This video we're going to talk about the pineal gland, or some call it the pineal gland, and melatonin. So, don't exactly know everything that's going on in the pineal gland, that's what I call the pineal gland, but the cells of the pineal gland called pinealocytes, they appear to be <clears throat> influenced by visible light. So when, when the photons of light strike the retina, it impacts a part of the brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. The pineal gland can tell what's going on then based on this input of light. And if there is light, then the pineal gland will not be producing melatonin. And if there isn't light, then it'll produce more melatonin. That's why melatonin levels go up in the dark at night, and they appear to help you sleep. So melatonin does play a big role in your circadian rhythms, your sleep-wake cycles. But it appears to do lots of other things too. So I don't I don't know all those things. I think uh, I've seen for years that it's believed to be a brain antioxidant. It does appear to play a role in body temperature because that's why body temperature generally dips uh, when you go to sleep. It might it might play a role in reproductive function, including maybe even delaying the onset of puberty, but also inhibiting reproductive function at night, which doesn't exactly make sense to me. But so again, lots of questions here. But the only thing I want you to know for sure is the pineal gland produces melatonin when in the absence of light, when it's dark. And when there's a lot of light, then the pineal gland will stop producing melatonin, and that's why it plays a role in your sleep-wake cycles. That's the key thing to note here. Okay, so that is melatonin. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.